it's amazing to see the reach that this game had, that it spoke to people in such a way that they were moved enough to spend their time to embrace it. What we do doesn't have much meaning without fans really taking it and making it their own. I really enjoyed reading about people who played the old series when they were younger, and then they came back to this. Now they're all fathers, they have their sons, or like their mothers, they have their daughters, and they, they can relate to this change with the game, and they can relate to the story that we've been telling. Somebody out there created an awesome uh, Christmas card for us that we actually used for our Christmas cards in the studio. Graffiti is big in Brazil and in South America. They really love God of War there. It was just cool to see Kratos and Atreus adventure spray painted on buildings and their interpretation of how they could look. I remember seeing the, the promo for Tina Guo's cello music video that she was making. She had like an ax and she was like really cool, like she'd like pose for it. And then the music video came out and it just, it was just amazing. Sonny Legend, I think he was always a legend before this, but became even a greater legend in my eyes once I saw all the God of War love he was he was putting out there. It was uh, it was it was so good that I know even people in the studio were reaching out directly to him just to get more captures because it's just uh, he was just making the game look amazing and making every every one of us feel great. Being able to change the face in photo mode has resulted in a lot of wacky and very funny moments. Seeing fans be sort of directors in themselves and, and take our content and make something more out of it has been great. We, we love seeing that stuff. We post it, we retweet it. We're fans of them. One of the fans made a small scene from Elfheim, uh, recreated it in Legos. He depicted it really well. It's pretty spot on. Didn't know those pieces existed. I don't know if they're custom made or what, but it's, yeah, it's really great. There's one fan art in particular that I, I loved. That was, it was a massive uh, clay sculpture of Kratos on top of a troll. Uh, I know how complex it is to make that and how much time you have to spend to make something that big. Sometimes I'll see my own work show up in their work, which is cool because sometimes they'll even ask advice on uh, what do you think, you, you know, you did this, and I want to know how you thought about going about doing what you did. There are entire videos about just the axe throw mechanic alone. I love when people talk about that because it's like something I worked on forever and it's a small thing, but you do it so many times in the game and the sound that they put on it, I genuinely think our game brought back axes. <laughs> that's, that's just such a weird thing to think about, but now they're everywhere. Every single time I saw somebody complaining about how hard the Valkyries were online, it made my heart just burst with joy. <laughs> Thank you for exploring with us. It means a lot. Change can be really scary, but it meant a lot that you all embraced it and trusted us, and thank you for that. I want to say thank you for just all your positive support. And it really is your reception of our work that makes us want to try harder and do better to impress you guys next time around. It's not an exaggeration to say that like this has changed my life. And sorry. Thank you for going on this journey with us. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Obrigado a todos os fãs brasileiros que, que jogaram o jogo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Mahalo Nui Loa. Thank, Thank you. you.